Somebody suggested I should try a magnetic levitation. So it's magnetic levitation time. I've got some neodymium magnets and a piece of pyrolytic carbon. And this was my first attempt and it didn't really work as well as I expected. This is the neodymium magnet runway and it actually didn't work at all. As you can see, there are no signs of levitation. The thickness of my magnetic runway doesn't seem to be enough. It's just two millimeters. So let's try to double it like this. And now it's kind of trying to levitate, but the force is still not enough. When I rearrange the magnets like this, it starts to be interesting, even though it's still far away from what I expected. So I have to try a different type of magnets. Those are cube magnets and they are in a chessboard configuration now. Now it's getting closer to a real levitation. Sometimes it falls, of course. But it doesn't look so bad now. It is stable in those diagonal positions. But it also becomes stable like this. So it has two stable positions. The diagonal one over the hole and the one over one of the magnets. Stacking the magnets slightly improves the levitation distance, but not so much. But this looks nice. Not so bad. The magnets have to be in a chessboard configuration. So this one works, but this one doesn't. One big magnet also doesn't work, no matter how big it is. So this one is probably the best one so far.
So it seems like a success today. And I also plan to make a levitation using some bismuth. So this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.